It has been said that we die twice in life. The first time when we take our last breath and the second time when we are forgotten. In today's journey, we have come to Amity in Knox County, Ohio. We have come to pay our respects to the legendary Paul Lind. Paul Lind's cremated remains are interred at the Amity Cemetery. From the entrance of the cemetery, you will see a stone monument that says Amity Cemetery. Look immediately to your right and walk about 150 feet. You will see two headstones that look identical. You will see it is very close to the road and once you walk closer, you will see that these two headstones have the family name Lind. The very first headstone on the left and the very first plot on the left, it will be where Paul Lind's final resting place is. As you can see, it says Paul, 1927 to 1982. Paul Lind was a very famous TV personality. He was also a comedian, and some would argue one of the best comedians of all time, as his punchlines were second to none. He proved it was hip to be square, as the middle square in Hollywood squares. Lind would deliver one-liners that were gut-busting and would make you laugh until it hurt. Paul would also do voice acting and he supplied the voice for none other than Templeton the Rat in Charlotte's Web. There is a veritable smorgasbord, orgasbord, orgasbord after the crowds have ceased. Paul would also go on to guest star in TV series such as Bewitched. He played the lovable and mischievous prankster Uncle Arthur. Gotcha now, Uncle Arthur. Forgive me for not rising, but I'm up to my neck and work. Paul Lynn was full of talent, but many say that he could not reach his full potential in the generation in which he was born because of his sexuality. He was closeted gay because it was not accepted in his generation. A lot of people claim that this led to him being depressed and drinking alcohol and doing drugs, which led his career on a downward spiral. And also to the incident where a friend of his fell to his death from eight stories which put a damper on Mr. Lynn's career. Ultimately, Mr. Lynn died lonely in his home in California from a heart attack. On January the 10th, 1982, it was sad that we can never fully know the potential of this man, but he will live on forever in our memories and our hearts and in reruns. If you would like to know more about Mr. Paul Lynn, please click my video description in the description box.